Hello and welcome to the third video of OpenMCT for engineers. In this video I'm gonna show you how to start OpenMCT and implement your first own set of telemetry. To do this we're gonna generate um, the needed files with the tools provided in my repository. Uh, then we're gonna adapt the files to suit your needs and in the end we will see the newly implemented data in OpenMCT. So let's get started. First start OpenMCT. We've got two options to start OpenMCT. One is to run it in a production environment, which means running it with Node directly. Um, doing so, all the data we change will be updated live and we don't need to reload the server or anything. The other option is to run it in a develop environment which means packing OpenMCT to the distribution folder, which will be served by an industry grade or an open, open server, for example, Apache. Running OpenMCT in a production environment will increase stability and security. But since we're doing development here, we will start OpenMCT through Node. So, to start OpenMCT, we have to open a terminal, terminal in the OpenMCT folder. To do this, you can, in Windows, um, go to OpenMCT, to the folder, and just type command up here, and you have a command prompt in this folder, where you could start OpenMCT. In Linux, you could do it with Ctrl-Alt-T, and um, navigate your terminal to the folder or just right click and open the terminal here. In my case I like to work in Visual Studio Code and will open a terminal here in the VisFrame folder. Now I change to the OpenMCT folder and we will type npm start which will start OpenMCT. So this was successful and OpenMCT is now running at localhost 8080. Now we go to this address in our browser, preferred Chrome, since OpenMCT is developed for Chrome. So here we got our start screen of OpenMCT, where is my title screen, which you saw at the beginning of the video, um, but there are no telemetry points implemented yet. To do so, we first have to generate the needed files with the tools I provided in my repository. The, those tools are in Python scripts and telemi telemetry object generator. In here is a, is a Python script that you can adapt to suit your needs. You can choose the UDP port over which the telemetry will be sent to OpenMCT. You can choose an object name for the new telemetry, in this case Aircraft 42, which will give us all the answers we need. And you can choose what do you what do you what you want to generate, which is useful if you already generated objects and want to adapt new ones or if you want to expand your dictionary and just want to generate uh, some dictionary files so you can choose what to generate here. Since we have nothing implemented yet, we will generate everything at once. To do so, we will open a terminal in the right folder and start the script. So as we saw now, something happened here and we can see um, a Python script got generated for the aircraft 42. In the Python script we have our specified UDP port, um, some generic keys counting up, um, and a socket is opened to the specified UDP port and data is sent which will just go up from 0 to 100 and over and over again uh, at 10 Hz. So what else got generated? In the OpenMCT example folder where all the additional plugins are located, 
Um, also, an Aircraft 42 folder got generated in which the plugin for OpenMCT is um, located, in which the dictionary gets read in, which will be shown soon. To get more information about what's going on in this plugin, I recommend you the tutorial of OpenMCT, um, where the creating of such a plugin is very well documented. The link you can find in the video description and also in my wiki on GitHub. So here in the dictionary we can see the metadata for the telemetry. Here we can see the key of the telemetry, which is also sent right at the beginning of the, at the Python script, key zero. Uh, is key zero here and so we can change uh, for example we want to say the telemetry point one is hide above ground call it for example gps dot hide above ground and so we have so it will be connected to the telemetry we have to change the key here as well. So it knows that's the key for this telemetry and this metadata is um, connected to this telemetry. Here we can change also, for example, the name which is displayed on the y-axis. We can say the units as well, which is displayed in the um, additional information part on the right. Um, we can specify the expected uh, format of the telemetry, which is integer in this case, since it's running from 0 to 1, uh, so from 0 to 100 in steps of 1. Um, for more information about the metadata, you can check out the NASA API documentation on the telemetry API. Um, the links are also provided in the wiki of my repository. And the video description. So now all the needed files are generated. Now we have to install them in OpenMCT. To do so, we change to OpenMCT, source, plugins, and plugins.js. In here, all the plugins are registered and um, prepared for installation. Um, so we have to add our plugin here so it knows where the basic plugin file is and it's an example aircraft 42 um, and the name of the file is aircraft 42 plugin let's check that real quick example Aircraft 42, Aircraft 42 plugin. You don't need to put a JS in here. Um, now, the important part is um, the order of uh, in which the the um, the location of the file is specified needs to be the same order in which the function name is um, implemented. So here we are after map plugin. So we have to put it here also after map plugin, um, get the plugin function name and add it here. So now we have registered it um, to be used in a plugin.js file and now we have to register it to for OpenMCT to use. So plugins dot aircraft 42 plugin so, all right, so we have it registered for OpenMCT to install, uh, but we haven't installed it yet. To install it, we have to go to OpenMCT index.html and in here at the very bottom of the file, um, you can add your new plugins. You can see all the custom, pl uh, all the Plugins from NASA are installed here, or not all of them, but um, some. Um, 
the time conductor is installed, for example, the styling is uh, defined here. Um, and we are gonna add our new telemetry producing aircraft in here. So you can just copy one of the old um, implementations of me and adapt them to your needs. So we called it uh, we called it Aircraft 42 plugin. And the rest is not implemented yet, but we can, we will do that as well later. But now we should be able to see um, the telemetry points in OpenMCT. Let's see if that worked. Save the index.html. And since we're in development mode, it will autom automatically um, rebuild OpenMCT and we should see it directly here in localhost 8080. It should appear on the left in our object tree. Yes, in our object tree, now we have aircraft 42 with our height above ground we just defined and the other are still generic telemetry points. You can also um, expand here and we see our telemetry points, but they are not yet served with telemetry data. To have our points served with telemetry data, we have to uh, implement our uh, aircraft into the telemetry server and also start our Python script. So let's first um, go into the telemetry server. Here is also our new telemetry object crea created by the Python script. Um, we don't have to do anything here. Um, we just have to adapt the main file of the telemetry server, which is server.js. Um, and here we need to add our um, aircraft. Aircraft 42 requires our aircraft 42 file. So we got that implemented. Now we add an instance of our Aircraft 42 here. Um, we don't use the same names here, or it will confuse the server. It will, it will not work. Um, now we have a new aircraft 42 telemetry source object which we can pass to the real time and history server so um, it will be opened to open mct to get um, the data so um, and now we have to tell the app to use those objects um, and on which um, URL it should be available. So aircraft 42 real time, our real time data will be available and under aircraft 42 history, um, our history server will be available. So those are those objects and now we can start the telemetry server um, by um, going to the right folder to the OpenMC telemetry server and just type npm start. If you did everything right, you will see now, okay, aircraft 42 got initialized. 
So now the telemetry server is running, but it's still not getting any data because the data is coming from the Python script here. So we have to start this as well. And now we got the telemetry pumping out of the Python script. Um, at the beginning, you get an error because um, the first message of the UDP port cannot be read. It cannot be identified as a, um, as a key and you will get an error, but that's no problem. The next messages will be understood or else you would see a lot of errors here. So now we've got the data flowing. Um, and we have specified where to get, where OpenMCT can access the telemetry data. We have to specify this here in the index.html. Um, so we got here the aircraft 42 real time. And up there, the aircraft 42 history. Um, both running at localhost and the telemetry, the namespace is aircraft 42 dot telemetry so now OpenMCT builds again with the new plugins installed with the new telemetry registered so now we should see the data flowing here. And indeed we do. So now we have implemented our new telemetry data in OpenMCT. We got through one loop uh, with artificial data. So if you want to implement your own data now, um, you have to alter the Python script uh, you can, for example, read from a serial port. You can um, read from the Ethernet port when you have something like the MQTT protocol. Um, so you have to get the data in here, specify the keys or you, the, the keys get sent, like for example, MQTT topics and just pump them out as seen here. Uh, you can have, you can look through the Python scripts here. They are quite well commented. And you can see some examples with MQTT or reading from a serial port and sending it to the telemetry server. So what did we do exactly? A uh, little recap. We started OpenMCT for the first time. Um, we generated the needed files for our first implementation of own telemetry. Uh, we adapted those files to our needs and we saw the newly implemented telemetry data in OpenMCT. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.